Hello and welcome to my channel. On this video I'll explain, be explaining how I installed a bathroom fan into the ceiling of my bathroom, uh, venting through the attic to an outside wall. Uh, I chose to do it in rigid PVC, which I'll explain why, Re rigid PVC duct. Um, so here we go and I hope you find this informative. Okay, so here's the exhaust outlet that I've purchased. It's actually the same as some existing ones on my house right now. Um, as you can see, there are two pieces. So this piece here, uh, the ducting fits on the back. And then of course it blows through here and the flapper is uh, effectively stops any backflow or insects or whatnot coming in. Um, and then, th so this piece goes through the wall. You can see the flange right there. And then once that's installed, this piece right, this piece here is basically the cover and that clips on like so. And there you go, that's what it looks like from the outside with the flapper inside. Now, now in order to install this into my stucco, I have stucco on the side of my house, um, I'm going to have to cut this, what is that called? I think in math it's called a rhombus, but anyway, that almost square piece, I'm going to have to make that cut out in my stucco. So that should be fairly easy. I'm going to use an angle grinder and cut through it with a uh, masonry disc. However, the question is how to fix the position, which I'm going to do from inside the attic, fix the position of the duct, where's this hole going to be? So to do that, I've made a template. I'm a big believer in templates. I'm not going to carry this plastic thing up into the attic and try and hold it against the wall and estimate, guesstimate where the hole's going to be. So what I've done is I've cut a template right here from a piece of cardboard. You can see the outline of the flange. And then I cut the hole in the middle, like so. As you can see, there's, I've left about probably an eighth of an inch all around. So I've got a little bit of clearance, which I'll seal up later. So this cardboard right here is going to be my template to mark my hole from inside the attic where I want the vent to go. And then I'm going to go outside, use this template again to cut the opening. So here we are in the attic. You can see the setup that I'm installing. I'm actually using four inch uh, DWV, which is drainage tube, um, connecting that to the fan. This is roughly where the fan's gonna go. It's not installed yet. Uh, running along, around, and then over to the outside wall here where I've got to drill through. So there's gonna be another piece like so. So right now, I have the electrical already here, ready to hook up. Uh, I'm just finalizing the position of where I'm gonna drill through to the outside wall. So this is roughly what it's gonna look like. Around the bend up 45 degree elbow, and then it's gonna go across to the wall. It's gonna be a slight slope. About one to two degrees is what people rec recommend or what's recommended. Um, and then you can see I have the flange in position here with my template behind it. So what I can do now is take this off. There's my template. And uh, I'm going to drill a pilot hole through to the outside to indicate where I need to start. I'm going to pick one of the corners, either probably top left or top right, to drill through. go. So here we are in the attic again and I've just fixed the flange on the interior or interior wall. So now I just got to connect the ducting, go outside and put the cover on. So here we are again. I've done the final fit check, dry fit of the ducting to the fan housing. So I've cut my pieces to length. I've got this piece over here that I've just glued. And that's drying. And while, I'm, while that's happening, I'm going to make the electrical connection. So here's my electrical cable and there's the uh, fan. 
So I'm just going to terminate these, connect them to the fan uh, while the PVC dries. So here's a view of the completed installation. You can see I've replaced the insulation around the fan. Um, the PVC pipe was glued together with PVC cement um, where it uh, fixed onto the flange on the wall to the outside. I also put uh, silicone sealant around there just to make sure that that was a good seal. Um, there was a slight leak because it was a loose fit on the 45 degree elbow you can see there so that's the reason for the uh, uh, metal tape that's over there. There was a very slight leak coming out of there. Um, but uh, overall as I said, I wanted to uh, have a smooth internal surface. This is double walled, so it's insulated. I didn't want uh, to use steel duct, but I wanted a smooth internal surface rather than the regular flexible ducting that you can buy. Um, the flexible ducting is fine, but it, it's going to restrict the flow a little bit. It's going to cause the fan maybe to run a little bit faster, be a little bit noisier, a little bit more back pressure. And also I felt that uh, moisture could wind up sitting in the those spiral wound uh, plastic ducts so that's why I went for this rigid duct um, so if you have any questions or you've got any comments uh, please post them below I hope you enjoyed this it was informative uh, thanks for watching